Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Orbis' Suite 3.0 Early Beta by Lightning Mods. Uh, I will leave a link in the description here for the GitHub. You can go ahead and jump on it and download the setup. Shouldn't take too long to download the setup. As you can see, it goes pretty quick. Um, you will need .NET installed if you're unsure of where to get .NET. If you do a quick Google search, you should be able to bring it up. Uh, .NET 6 should be fine. Go ahead and click on .NET. And you're looking for the Windows, if you're on Windows. And probably 64. Just go ahead and click that, download it, install it, and you should be good to go. Um, as for the package file, as you can see, once the setup is done, it does install the package file directly into your program file. So we can go ahead and grab it from there. Let's go ahead and minimize that for now. Oh, go right here. Looks like we do have a warning here. We're going to go ahead and hit keep. And we'll just go show more and keep always. Okay, go ahead and open it. And more info. And run anyways. Now we can go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so we are into the setup process here. Go ahead and hit next. I accept. And install. Go ahead and select yes for if you get any warnings. Okay, and next again. And finished. Okay, I don't see any desktop shortcuts. So we can just go ahead and open up our file explorer. Go into our C. Program 86. Uh, Orbis is sweet. Okay, there's our setup there. So we can go ahead and open up our drive. I have a USB plugged in here now. So we'll go ahead and just drag that over. Okay, and we can go in here. I'm going to go ahead and send this to the desktop with a shortcut. Uh, yes. And we'll do the same for the other one. Um, send to desktop create shortcut. There. Okay, so we're going to close that. Make sure our desktops or our shortcuts are there. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and jump over to the PS4 and we'll get this uh, package installed. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, I've already went ahead and loaded Goal 10. Uh, we can go into our settings. We can scroll down to debug settings. Go into game and package installer and go ahead and select our package. Give it a few moments. There we go. We can go ahead and back out of there. And we'll scroll up to the Goal 10 options. And we're going to go ahead and enable our FTP as well as our bin loader server. Just so we can go ahead and send some payloads over just to show you that it does work. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. We do have our Orbis suite right here. We can go ahead and launch it. Now I've noticed this here on the PS4 Pro that... Uh, Sometimes it doesn't load the suite. Um, I think it has something to do with the maybe the bin loader server. I don't know if it checks for that first or not. So it's better to go ahead and just re-enable it if it's not enabled. Or if it is enabled, just unenable it and re-enable it. And it should fix the issue. So we've got to load it now. As you can see, we have our stuff up. We can go into our settings. Go into our Orbis's toolbox here, and we can go into our settings. Go ahead and enable a few things here. Um, just the default, what I like to have enabled. And I believe that's everything. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save those settings. Okay, so we got everything loaded up there. Let's jump back over to the computer, and we'll go ahead and open up our program. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and open up our neighborhood. It should automatically load up everything, so just go ahead and allow access. And there we go. So we can go ahead and minimize the neighborhood. 
And as you can see, nothing does come up right now. But if we go into targets, go ahead and add source. You can name it whichever you want. Uh, just name mine Echo Stretch. And if you remember your IP address from enabling your FTP, go ahead and just type that in. That two three six, and then your payload port. We enabled that as well, and that's just port ninety ninety. Go ahead and hit save. You can put a little star on there just to be your favorite. But as you can see, it did connect. Firmware nine, SDK brought up the IP address. Uh, if we go over to our dashboard. Some things do come up. This is still a beta. Just still in beta. There's not much in here. Um, none of this here will work right now. As for your hard drive size, that does not work either. Um, as you can see, there's. I definitely have bigger than that. I have two terabyte in my PlayStation 4, so none of that works. Uh, system stats not working right now, and quick launch does not work as well. Um, this stuff does come up, as you can see. Uh, if you go more details, nothing works there. Your edit doesn't work. If we jump over to our settings, a few things in here. Uh, I haven't really played around with anything in here, but uh, you can go ahead and try a few things. But we can go to target. Now, some of these here options do work. Uh, see if I can bring it up here. There, locate target. This is a send payload. This here does work. You can go ahead and click it. Uh, find your payload and then go ahead and send it. It does require the bin loader server to be loaded. And then you restart the target. Let's just restart your PlayStation 4. Shut down the PlayStation 4. And then set it into rest mode. Okay, and then you have your edit options as well. Go in here and edit it. Uh, this just changes the, adds the, uh, the Orbis is shortcut. I'll actually show you these here options. We can go ahead and enable those. Okay, so now we're over to the PS4 here. We can go ahead and enable a few of these here just to show you that uh, these here work. So if we go ahead and show the Orbis' toolbox shortcut, just go ahead and push it over. I believe it should come up. Uh, no, I thought it did. Okay, this one does work. Show the app home. App home. See if we can enable this one now and see if there we go. Okay, so you need both of them enabled in order for it to come up. Uh, the dev panel that is already enabled. You can on enable it and enable it. And then your titles, go ahead and enable them as well. Turn them off as I don't need them in there. But yeah, guys, you can go ahead and check out a few of these options. Um, still a work in progress. But uh, once it is done, it will be uh, will be pretty cool to have. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.